Hi guys, welcome to another beer review. Today we've got one from Brewdog, and uh, yeah, I really enjoy Brewdog's beer. Um, you could go onto most, you know, craft beer forums and Facebook groups, and you know, pretty much on a daily basis, you'll see people bitching about Brewdog, about their ethos and some of their business practices and like stuff, stuff like that. Joe, just whining. Um, for me personally, uh, the beer still of high quality um, I've never had a bad brew dog beer that being said there's still loads that I need to try and some that I never got the chance to try but to me they continue to make consistently good beer no matter how big they get no matter what my like, publicity stunt they do and I think I enjoy the guys at brew dog I like their sense of humor I like the way they do things and most importantly I really enjoy their beer and this is one that I've never tried before, but it's the Libertine Black Ale, which is a uh, black IPA, clocking in at 7.2%. Um, got the microwave on in the background, so please excuse that noise. Got a pizza, a uh, homemade pizza on the go, and uh, yeah, what's better to go with pizza than a good beer? So yeah, never tried this one. Um, but like I said, I'm a big fan of Brewdog, and I actually quite like these labels, and I like the texture. But yeah, I uh, can't really read the spiel, because the writing's a bit too small, and the lighting's not good. But yeah, pick this up from Beretta. I never really used to buy, like, British craft beer from Beretta, but when it comes to stuff like this, because I wouldn't really say this is, like, one of the Brewdog headliners or stuff like that, and, you know, it's going to be until I get back to him before I can try like a beaver town about buying it at Beretta. It's like for the price I pay for these, they're actually not that much more expensive than the ones at home. So for a beer like this, you know, I'm happy to pay like maybe the one pound extra, if you will. But yeah anyway, let's get this beer opened. Not too much going on in terms of carbonate or CO2. Heads all over the place. So yeah. On the neck, you get those really strong hoppy aromas as you do with you know, all the Brewdog hoppy beers. And you've got like a nice sort of roasty chocolatey malt backbone as well. And of course it's got that signature Brewdog aroma, uh, which I think is something to do with the water that they've got uh, in Scotland, because I think there's uh, you know lots of minerals in there. But yeah, that's pouring really, really nicely. Just what the doctor ordered in terms of uh, a look. That being said, the Black IPA, um, as much as I enjoy IPAs, the Black IPA I've still got to really experience a lot more. Because um, from what I've had, they've been okay. But um, yeah, I'm a massive IPA fan and Brewdog are phenomenal at brewing IPAs. Punk IPA is one of my all-time favourite beers as well as some of the other ones that I've tried. But uh, yeah, perfect looking beer. In the glass, uh, I, want, I don't know, is that jet black? I can't really tell too much in the light. When you have it up in the light, you do get maybe some slight, slight brown tones coming through at the bottom of the glass but uh yeah really dark rich looking beer nice amounts of slow steady carbonation and beer poured with just under two fingers worth of a tan beige colored head but yeah looks really good and uh yeah color wise i don't know the lighting in here isn't really best suited for a beer like this um i would say it is bordering on jack black but yeah, it's a black IPA, so what do you expect? So, on the aroma in the glass, put your nose right in there, Pete. Uh, definitely getting those hops. Nice grapefruit, melon. Um, you know, those tropical, sort of zesty fruits. But at the same time, I'm getting like maybe some black currant, um, blueberry. Like a nice, tart, juicy berry sort of aroma. The caramel and the like malty characters, um, they're actually not as pronounced in the glass, I find. Those hops completely take over it, but that's fine by me because I do appreciate 
a good hop aroma, and that's a fantastic hop aroma. It sort of reminds me, actually, of like um, a black a black currant juice, like um, rye bean or something like that. It smells really good, and of course that signature brew dog smell as well. It smells nice and rich, but not too overwhelming if you catch my drift. But yeah, it smells nice and just fantastic. Let's get on with it. Cheers. It's like hoppy, dark black currant juice. So nice and fruity. And you do pick up those malts in there as well. It's got a nice tartness to it. And then a really nice grapefruit-esque bitterness comes in from those hops. It's got a nice bold mouthfeel to it. Not too heavy, not too light. And a really nice, almost licorice finish on the back end. And I'll tell you what. Considering it is like a, a darker beer and coming in at 7.2%, that alcohol, it's, it's just masked beautifully. Uh, which, of course, you know, that's a good thing, but it also could work against it because you just want a session a beer like this. Uh, not too heavy on the gut either. So, you know, you can savour those nice, bold flavours, but at the same time, it's just so drinkable. And from reviews that I've like watched here on YouTube, a lot of people have either been like really, you know, blown away by this one or slightly underwhelmed. I think this is a terrific little beer. But yeah, I can't get over that like black currant juice sort of vibe. But of course, you know, with those IPA beer flavours naturally, because you know it is a beer at the end of the day. It's not like one of these overly like um, synthetic fruity infused beers that you can get the fruit character in there coming from those hops is just so natural tasting and yeah it's just a really phenomenal little beer um, it's easily a 9 out of 10 um, I'm not too sure what I could alter the beer to make it a 10 out of 10 um, but to me, it's just right. It's a 9 out of 10. A very, very good beer indeed. Uh, definitely worth giving a go. I just can't believe how well that alcohol is masked. You might get some sort of like um, like a, a sort of like a berry liqueur in the background, but not too overwhelming. And yeah, it's just really, really nice. That malt base really works well with those hops. And uh, yeah, signature Brewdog beer, fantastic stuff. And yeah, I'm yet to try a bad Brewdog beer, so they've had an almost perfect run with me so far. I'd definitely pick this up again. I can imagine this being really nice on draft in the bars. And uh, yeah, nine out of 10 from me. So if you've tried this one, let me know your thoughts, opinions. Uh, what's your favorite Brewdog beer? Uh, do you like Brewdog? Because I know some people are really against Brewdog. Um, I actually really, really enjoy their beers and I enjoy the whole ethos and their attitude and that sort of thing. And I think for a brewery that has expanded the way it has, the quality of their beers for me has remained the same. So uh, yeah, but let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Check out uh, Brewdog and, uh, and all the other information regarding this beer. Uh, and hopefully you will join me for my next beer review. See you later.